guys and welcome back to another video if you guys haven't hit the subscribe button hit the subscribe button right now I guess as you guys can hear we're in the M340 or by the beginning of the video but yes we are in the M340 today can you guys hear the exhaust this is um, valves open and a Bluetooth downpipe not Bluetooth downpipe but Bluetooth caddy downpipe can you guys hear that that car this car sounds so nice when the valves are open and let me tell you in today's video we are finally getting our custom tune officially done we've done uh me and my tuner were doing some logs and i think i'm in like in the 11th revision we've it's been going on for two weeks and the only reason it's been taking so long because i got a job so I can't really, when I'm out of work, I can't really do logs. And it's actually been raining in California, so that's why I, don't, I didn't want to risk it. But yeah, man, we are doing an E50 custom tune. And bro, I fill up this car like two times, three times a week, and we're here now. This might be like the fourth time. <laughs> this car eats so much gas, it eats, it eats more gas than my Subi, bro. Actually, I have not driven the Subi in four months. If you guys know, we got state ref in it, and it's been four months since October of last year, and it's so terrible, man. I just want to drive it, and today's Wednesday. Tomorrow, we have the state ref appointment for that car. I'm super excited. Hopefully, we can pass. I have faith that we are, and yeah, bro. So, I'm going to show you guys what's the process of getting a custom tune, because I haven't seen this video on YouTube for some reason. Like... I try so whenever they send you a map they send it to your email and then through your email you have to do other things because once you go to MHD the app press flash custom tune map it does not appear there so they were telling me it was, a, it was supposed to be up here automatically and that wasn't the case for me so I'm gonna show you guys how that works we're just gonna have the baby warm up so we can go ahead and do that but before we do any of that bro you know how precious this steering wheel is a lot of people ask me what steering wheel this is and i actually got it from unleashed unleashed customs on instagram it's custom made so it did take a while i'm not gonna lie to you guys it took like three months to get here but i think it was during the holiday so i, I don't know if they're gonna take a little bit faster now if you guys order it now but it was honestly a thousand dollars or it was like a, do a thousand and some change but it, it's, it's well i took off the um led lights because i had to put the mhd cable on there so this is the thing that does the lights so you have to plug this into your obd and then i'll be set to go i mean it's kind of annoying because it, you know you can see the whole cable underneath but you can actually hide it and i'm just i just been so lazy to hide it but besides that it still was nice so before we get into action with the custom tune we're gonna go to this this closed location you guys know we always have to go to a certain location because i am not trying to be in my driveway and doing this so this is how you do your custom tune um first you have to get your adapter which is right here i am running through mhd so we grab this little thing plug it in to the OVD to see if I can get it. Okay, this is the way. Nope. Got it, I think. Close the door. So, you know you got it when that thing is flashing. Turn off your car, obviously. And then, don't forget to put your phone into airplane mode. So then you have to go into your Wi-Fi, find the MHD. I don't know why it's called that. That's the first time I've ever seen it called like that. So this is a part where I had the hardest problem. So hopefully this is my last revision. He said based off on this log, if everything looks good, then this is the final product. So you go right here, click on it, right? So what they said was that once you have this map, oh, I'm gonna turn off the Wi-Fi. So once you have this map, once they send you the map it will show automatically an mhd and that was not the case for me so what i had to do was do this show up to save to files i'd go to save the files right there and then 
I saved it, right? Save it to files on the iPhone. And then we go to files. So the one that you, he sent, sent to me was this one, which I already saved. You go right here. No, nope, I don't want to delete it. You keep in mind, you still have it right here, right? But you're scrolling with the other phone, the other finger. You find the MHD file, this one right here, this one, and then you swipe it, click on it. Oh, I did the wrong thing. So you go like this, swipe it, put it in there, and then it will go to MHD file. So let me go back to MHD app, flash a custom map right here, and it's right here. So right here, so this is how much revisions we have done. I think this is the 11th or the 12th. I think this is the 11th because if I wouldn't have done that, the map would not have shown up here. So if you're on Apple Play, don't forget to disconnect your phone from Apple Play on here because it might interrupt. Oh, well. See, I gotta do is disconnect and we good. So now we go on here. So I think it'll work this time. I had to unplug it and plug it back in. I see, this is what happens. But sometimes it doesn't give you the option to do the verbal settings. So you just have to go back and, you know, map right. <clears throat> so this is where all the magic happens. So make sure everything is fine. Sometimes you have to put your seatbelt on, but I don't. But I'm, um, see. Communicating with the me and this whole thing just happens like it tweaks out your car tweaks out Coding success. Now just clearing all the codes. <laughs> it says exactly right there. <laughs> and now we got the new revision on there, the new tune. Wait 30 seconds. So for this one, for this revision, I have to do some data logging. Go right here, data logging, con contact DME, and here we go. So so for this new data log, what I have to do is go from, I think the fourth gear from 2,500 RPMs all the way to Redline and I do it twice and then I send it to him and then based off this one, finally we might be done. Does this car feel faster than the OTS tune? Yeah. Let's go some, get some deadhead logging. I'm gonna only do obviously just two of them, two poles and we'll be good to go. Honestly, this is done. This is done in Mexico, so <laughs> if you guys know, you guys know. But this is how the screen looks. Obviously, when I'm about to do the pull, I just put start log, and then I send it over to Data Zap, and then I send it over to my tuner, and then depending on that, let's see how it does and how it works. Hopefully, this is the last revision because I've done like 11 or 12, I think. Um, And I have to do it with traction off, so. For the GoPro. You do it just with one hand. Bro, 
Bro, y'all don't understand how fun this car is dry, to drive. <laughs> this car is super fun. that I have right now compared to the OTS, I feel like it is faster. I mean, that's the whole point of custom tuning, I believe. But I do want to get a draggy so I can compare the two. Hopefully, I'm not disappointed. And hopefully, the OTS is slower because I bought the custom tune. So it can obviously be faster than the OTS. And if the OTS is faster than custom tune, I'm going to be disappointed. But from... There's no way, there's no way LTS tune could be faster than custom tune. But dude, I used to get traction. I used to get traction on 40 rolls. Now I don't. <laughs> so unless because the weather was colder and my, my tires were warm. But we're gonna do that in a different video, testing out the two. And hopefully I can get the draggy real soon. I don't know. I think they're like 170 or something like that. But man, this car. This car for the price is crazy, crazy. Like, you see, like, I, I'm scared to push it on the low ones because I get no traction and my literally tires start to skip and I don't want to break anything because if you guys know, BMW are so expensive to fix. So after you do your logs, you go here, go to Data's app, upload a log, do the first one, then browse, choose files, and then you go right to MHD file, data login, and then you go all the way to the bottom. And the one, you know, the ones you recently did are the ones with the today's date. Click on them, press open, and they'll be right here. Be right here. I just put new data log. <laughs> and then. Let's put E50, even though he knows it's an E50 custom tune, you save it and it directly just goes to your thing. And then when you want to send it over to your tuner, you just do this, send the URL, and then he'll see it. So for the newest revision we have, I'm all, I'm all out of boost. So we're just working on timing. I think he said that my top end is looking, and I'm maxed out of boost, but he's just working on timing. I don't know how that works, but that's all we're working on now. So hopefully we can get some runs in Mexico so we can start seeing how this custom tune is. This car is pretty fast. <laughs> this is the fastest car I've owned. And man, I love it just cause it's a, uh, it's a four door and it's, you know, it doesn't seem too like, how do I explain it? It's not too, um, it's not too attract. I don't know. That's not the right way. That's not the right word. It's not like, it's not too out there. It's fast. It's kind of a sleeper. If you guys don't know about the M340s, you guys obviously wouldn't know. Hopefully I get a new revision or he just says everything's good to go. So we can get some more content hope i want to do pov but apparently my gopro thing is broken or i didn't bring the thing <laughs> but man i love this car hopefully you guys watched the whole video so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and see you guys in the next video